If you're gonna build a bait shop, you know what you gotta be more than anything else? Passionate, hungry, driven, a leader. You gotta feel like I'm talking, and it's gotta permeate your group and your team and everybody around you or you won't build anything. There's no system that will ever make this work, ever. Everybody has a new system, and when everybody's winning, they think that system is what did it. It's not. It's them. It's their leadership. You know one thing I've learned the last year? Leadership is everything. Now, I've heard it for 10 years. But I mean, I believe it deeply. It is everything. It's you. People look in your eyes. They want to know you're here. They want to know you're for real. They want to know you mean what you say. They want to know you're someone safe to follow. They want to know that you're committed. They want to know that you're the most willing, that you're a fighter, that you're hungry, that there's someone they can be proud of, that they can follow. They, they, people want to follow someone. Why not you? You can't build a huge hierarchy being one of the boys or one of the girls. You've got to make a decision to lead, to step out and lead and help people get where they want to go. Look what we have here, folks. You know, listen, people say, is it, Mike? It's not as good now. As good as what? What do you mean it's not as good now? Hey, I walked to an opportunity meeting 11 years ago. Didn't know anything. The company's paid me $16 million. And they owe me another $20 million in renewal income that we're going to get back again. You know what they would have paid? I, mean, I don't hate to say this. I feel it's embarrassing. You know how much I'd have gotten paid, folks, under this system, if we'd have had this system and this pay structure for the last 11 years? Hey, it's scary, man. It's going to wish I was 27 instead of 38 and I could do it again. Hey, between 40 and $45 million. Now, you don't think that there isn't somebody out there, that there wasn't somebody on this stage that goes, I want I can do as much as Sharp did, and you can. You can do more. We're coming into it. We're, we're coming into an, a time of security, folks. You're get, you're dealing with people now that don't just make changes because they want to make a change. They think it through. They analyze it. I mean, I love that. I feel secure with that. You should too. If you've been here as long as I have, you would be. Man, I feel good. I, I just can't even tell you, man. I feel I'm hungry to make it happen. We got the greatest team in the world. Folks, listen, six months ago, Mike Sharp quit picking up the phone and listened to any conversation, put my nose to the grindstone, and went to work. And that's where I found out. So, and I should have known it. I mean, I should, here's me. I mean, I, if anyone should know what leadership means, it's me. But we forget sometimes. In the last six months, going out there and working with these people on the, what they wanted, for years was just leadership. And you go out there and you watch them. You know, last month I doubled. Can you believe that? I mean, for you, it, and it didn't happen in one month. You didn't go out there and make some great speech and everybody went to work and did it. It was going out every single night, developing relationships, having friends again, making new teams, selling the dream and the vision. You do it for five months and it explodes. I'm categorically guaranteeing you within a year, year and a half, we're going to have the biggest hierarchy in the company. There is nothing. Can slow it down right now. We got a team of guys that are staggering. You talk about security, folks. Almost half these people are coming to my Christmas party at my house next. That's security. You know, I, I guess what I want you to do, not so listen so much to what I'm saying, but kind of catch what I'm feeling. Catch what I'm trying to, to say. See, this I, I'm not just feeling this here up in the podium. I'm not just feeling this from a platform. I feel it when I go home. I feel it in the hotel room at night. I feel it when I'm doing an opportunity meeting and people see it. I was telling Pete a few minutes ago, I said, Pete, for 11 years, at every fast start school, at every meeting, everywhere, in my heart, in my conversations, I said, Pete, I believe that this company was a team of destiny. And I believe that my hierarchy and my friend is a team of destiny. I believe that in my core. Now, I want you to have a gut check. Do you believe that? I mean, this is, this, if we don't believe this together, it's not going to happen. And I don't know why we have to work at believing it. You shouldn't. It is there. It's yours for the taking. It is yours for the taking. 
You can just have it for the asking. You just go to work and you believe. Folks, there was nothing superstar about me when I started this business. Nothing. Nothing. All I did was wanted it. All I wanted was $3,000 a month. $3,000. That was equivalent to about $6,000 a month a day. I thought I could live on half of it, save the other half, it would change my life. And I just did the things we were supposed to do. And I didn't blink. And I didn't look to my right. And I didn't look to the left. And I didn't surround myself with negative people and cynical people and bitter people. And we grew. And we grew. And we grew. And nothing could stop us. And folks, I want that again. But not just for me and my team. I want that for you. For us. I mean, you are our team. We're all one big team here. I want you to get that. There need to be lots of you. I mean, you can go out. You saw them tonight. Guys from zero doing 80000 in premium in eight months. Folks, that could be normal. See, I really, I'm excited because I think a year from now, that kind of stuff will be normal. Standard operating procedure for this company. That's the way it's going to be. It's just a matter of expectation to how you feel about things. <clears throat> you know what? real quickly on some of the things that you need to appreciate. You know these guidelines? They're perfect. For years and years and years, that was our biggest battle and struggle. <clears throat> what are we going to do with the guidelines? We go up and down, pre-promote and all this. Whatever, what Hector told you and Bobby told you and all these, these guidelines are fantastic. This is your security. That makes, that it causes you to have a viable business plan that works. They're super. You're never going to be in a situation, if you build it right, where your premium ever, ever has to go down. It will always go up if you build it with these guidelines in the right way. And you need to be consistent, too. I mean, totally consistent in your base shop and in your business, doing the same thing for everybody. Way back when, and it was a long time ago now, when I stuck to the guidelines, well, I was consistent. People used to say sharp is mean, sharp is ripping people off, or whatever they would say, and that's just jealousy speaking. I mean, I understand that, but I never got that from my own people because we were consistent all the time. Everybody knew what they had to do when they came here, and they did it. And we created a lot of successful people, and we're going to be doing that again. And you've got to have a work ethic, folks. This won't happen giving speeches. It will not. You've got to go out and make it happen. Folks, you've got to work until your throat is sore. You know the feeling, don't you? Do your tongue is swollen at night when you come home? You gotta run, walk up to that doorbell when your stomach is nervous because you just told your new recruit you're a slam dunk, close, you close everything, and he's gonna find out what it's really like. You gotta do all that stuff. But lastly, folks, it's a dream. It's a quality of life. And competition's wonderful, but not when it gets to the hurt in your family. You see, for me and my, I want my wife, this is for me, this is for me now, this is my personal thing. I want my wife to be my wife. I want her to be at home when I come home. I want her to keep the place, I want her to take care of the kids. I want my organization to be any way it wants to be. See, there is no right, wrong way to do this. I have one organization in my group that every husband, every wife signs out and they go out and do the field. Fantastic for you. But that's not for me. A partner here, it's a partner. I mean, we can't make it, folks, without partners loving what we do and feeling good and happy and secure. And I'll tell you, you, want, you have problems with your spouse, 99 times out of 100, you just got to go to work. You got to look like you're going to do it, and they feel secure again. I got the greatest wife. Without my, my wife, I could have never done this business. Whatever class I have, which is almost nil, but whatever it is, she gave it all to me. She, the personality of our whole organization. Your wife needs to be that, that too. <clears throat> you know, let's fight, okay? I mean, let's fight. Let's get angry. You want, here's what I told the team uh, uh, four months ago. I said, folks, I want us to start out doing something different. And I know it sounds corny and it sounds simple, it sounds ridiculous, but do it. It will change your life. I mean, I want you to be totally positive every day. Just try it for 90 days. 
And every time you get negative, write it down. It will blow your mind how negative you are. Write it down. Make five phone calls a day to make someone's life better. Not necessarily your downline, but somebody somewhere in the world. Call them up, make them feel good about themselves. Five people a day. Start giving. Start being excited, enthusiastic, happy that you're alive, happy that you're here. And people will be drawn to you like a magnet. You won't know why it grows. It just will grow. And this last thing I want to say, I usually don't do this, but I, I want to do this. See, I believe not only we're a team of destiny, I believe we were a special organization right here in this room. I believe the Lord had his hand on this team for years. Let me finish. Let me finish. He had his hand on this team for years and years. And we change the lives of people dramatically in many more ways than how much money we make. And somewhere we screwed up. I believe that. I believe we got out of line a little bit. We got a little cocky. We got whatever. And I'm not sure it was there, but you know what I know right now? It's back. He's back. He's with us right now. And we can make this thing happen. I love you. Hey, this guy, this guy, this team, they're worth following. Their heart is right. It's real. If they need to be cut 